Hi! Watch to see how easy it is to make elegant Christmas gift bags using the Stamp It Up Musical Season stamp set and the coordinating musical instruments framelit dies. But we better be quick because both are retiring. Welcome! I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 16 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. I paired the Musical Season stamp set and coordinating dies with the equally elegant Merry Music Specially Designer Series paper for my easy and elegant Christmas gift bag. Here's a closer view of the beautiful Musical Season stamp set and coordinating Musical Instruments Framelits dies. And when you order the two together using the special bundle item number I've listed right here, you'll save 10% on both. Now, this is really important. Both of these are being retired. And so this bundle will be available through January 2nd, 2018, unless supplies run out first. So that's why you want to get over right away to my online store, if you like this, to pick it up. Okay, I want to show you something. I was at Hobby Lobby and found this great gift bag. Isn't this fantastic? And uh, this wasn't with any of the holiday wrapping. It was just in the regular aisle. And I fell in love with it with the black. And I really like this glossy part that look how fantastic that is. It just really dresses it up. And while I was there, so you get four of them for $3.99. So very, very reasonable. My plan was, when I saw it, I thought, ooh, I'm going to use the Merry Little Christmas designer series paper from the holiday catalog. Because I knew we had the black and white and the green and black. And, and I thought, ooh, that'll be great. Well, when I decided to use the musical season stamp set and dies, thought, okay, well, change of plans. Instead, we're going to use the Merry Music Designer Series paper. So then my biggest decision of all was which pattern to use. Look, there are six double-sided sheets, so 12 patterns in all. I thought, oh my goodness, do I use the black with the white print or the white with the black print? And I tried both and liked them both, but a decision had to be made, and I did choose to go with the black with the white writing. So here we go. We've got our gift bag. Oh, I wanted to mention about this. These are a little bit thinner than our regular designer series paper, but because of that, you get twice as many. So you get four of every double-sided sheet. So that's going to go a long way for your Christmas card making or and or for this easy and elegant gift bag. You know, and there's just something elegant about black and then that glossy. So here we have, here's the pattern I chose. Isn't that great, that large print? And then I was thinking about putting it on with a tear and tape, tear and tape adhesive, but I wanted to get up, up and under here a little bit, so instead I chose to use the mini glue dots. They're still a very good, strong adhesive, so we'll take them out of their container, peel them back so we can see them in the light, and then I want to take my paper to the dots because I don't want to take away from the extreme stickiness. Well, I just got one there on my finger. There we go. <laughs> and because, uh, you know, by touching them, that'll take away their extreme stickiness. So we're going to avoid that. Let's put one in the center. So one in each corner and the center. That's a nice long sheet. And then there was another nice thing about using the black is if you didn't cut it perfectly, we'd have black against black. It wouldn't be so obvious. So here, let's take this. And this bottom part isn't a mat either. It's got a little bit of gloss to it. So as you're doing this, if you need to pick it up, they come off easily enough you know, because it's not as porous. Let's see how I am to the bottom. Oh, pretty doggone close. Okay, so I just wanted, I wanted, like I said, up and under just a little bit to make it look like it came that way. Oh, that's looking really good. Okay, and I like it to the bottom. I just want to shift over here a little bit. There we go. Like I said, if you're not perfect, it's not going to show doing that black print. But boy, the white was really pretty too. Okay. There we go. Pick that up a little bit and see that little bit underneath. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, of course this looks like it was bought that way. All right, so then it became, okay, what am I going to do for a tag? Well, I decided to do something different than a tag, and uh, I decided to just put it right on the bag itself. So we're going to be die cutting with the Stitch Shapes Framelits dies, all right? And so then, do I, do what I 
do it. I do it on Whisper White. Instead, because of all that gloss, I decided to use the Glossy White. Mm, so, so pretty. So we've got the Glossy White cardstock. And then we have this greeting. I really wanted to use this. May the spirit of the season be the melody that plays in your heart all year long to go with all of our beautiful mu musical instruments. So what I'm going to do is start with stamping one of the instruments on there and I'm going to use the smoky slate. I was just talking to somebody, she said, is that a pretty color? And I said, it really is. And then there are times where if I want a silver look, I'll use the smoky slate. And, uh, and this is going to work out so much better because had I used the metallic silver, it it's a um, permanent ink and I wouldn't be able to stamp my greeting over top like I want. So great, great selection, the smoky slate. So we're going to do is push, flip, and lock that lid into place. Okay, and so let's go ahead and ink this up. And let's just go towards the center. And because I'm die cutting, I don't want to be perfect, but I do want, oh, isn't that fantastic? Okay, so to close these, pull on here clip and click and I'm just wiping my sleeve real quickly in case I had got some ink from the pad so I really don't want to get it onto my project and then we're going to stamp the greeting in the basic black archival stamping pad this is a permanent ink push flip same idea okay so give that a good inking and we're going to stamp right over top so that smoky slate is dark enough to see but light enough that our print will look great over top. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And again, to close, pull, flip. Now, when you hear that click, you know it's closed and it isn't going to dry out on you. So now let's grab my Big Shot and my Stitch Shapes Framelits and let's die cut this. I've got my Big Shot die cutting machine, and because I'm going to want my oval Stitch Shapes Framelits die to be centered over my greeting, I'm going to use the magnetic platform to hold that die in place. Now, the magnetic platform doesn't come with the purchase of a Big Shot, but one I highly recommend for using the Framelits dies. So this is the start of our sandwich, and then next we need a cutting pad, and that does come with the purchase of a Big Shot, and then our paper, and so here that raised edge, that's the cutting edge. You put that down. So there we go. We want it centered right around there. If you didn't have the Big Shot platform, you could use some washi tape, a post-it note, painter's tape, something to hold it in place. But boy, you'll just love the magnetic platform. And then to finish it, you need another cutting pad. And so the two cutting pads do come with the Big Shot. So let's go ahead and crank this through. And what's so special about the Stitch Shapes Frameless dies, look. It just dresses it up with that stitching all the way around and look how that's beautifully centered. So we've got a little bit more die cutting to do. Now I'm going to change things out, okay? So because we're going to be die cutting uh, that beautiful instrument. Now this is a thinlet. These are framelits because they're going to frame the image. You know, they're hollow in the center, but when you have all that great detail, they be, they're called a thinlet die. And whenever we're doing that, we're gonna change our sandwich. Now we're gonna use the Big Shot platform. This comes with the purchase of a Big Shot. And then because we're using a thin metal die, we need the thin die adapter. So these two pieces, along with the cutting pads, come with your Big Shot, okay? And so instead of using, like we just did, one of the cutting pads on the bottom, we're going to use instead the optional precision base plate. Awesome for die cutting the thinlets dies. They cut through them like butter. Now the writing side, that goes down. Okay, so now for our paper, look, the silver foil sheets. Won't that be beautiful in there? So we'll put this on here. And then we've got our die. So again, that cutting edge, the raised edge, that's the cutting edge. So we'll set that down. Fantastic. And then we finish it with a cutting pad. That builds our sandwich. And so it makes it just the right thickness when we go through the big shot. Adding 3,000 pounds of pressure to cut all that out. And then whenever I use a thinlet die, I just go ahead and back it up and do it again for good measure. Give it that second pass through. And then look how that just cuts through it beautifully. Everything is cut. We got our die cut greeting and our instrument and it's still in the die. So let me show you how to easily get this out. This is the Big Shot die brush and the foam mat that comes with it. Just brush, gently brush over top. See how all those little pieces start falling out? Okay. And if at this point, oh, this has 
it's lifted enough that you can just peel that right off look at that beautiful all those little pieces are out of our way so now we get to decorate our bag oh my goodness fun 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 okay so we're going to stay with the mini glue dots and i just love how we have everything is nice and shiny like this top part okay so peel them back so we can see them there we go how about we do four now on the glossy it's not a poor surface like a matte white so do give it time to dry before you touch it you certainly wouldn't want to smear your ink and look at that isn't that pretty mm. loving loving it okay well let's not press this down yet because i have something else planned okay we've placed that so now i'm going to tuck this up and under i want to see most of it but isn't that sharp it looked better putting it on top was kind of dwarfing things so here we go more mini glue dots and mini glue dots are great because um, i mean they just really have a really good hold and whenever you have something that's sitting up like this this gift bag all the time they're just going to hold together really well all right so here we can go again and get another one but i want to get in these thinner areas so what we're going to do is take our paper piercing tool and roll up the glue dot okay because i definitely want want one out here now i'm going to use my nail even though they're short to try to keep that you know to keep that on there i don't want to touch them i mean it's not always avoidable not to but i really try and you know I try not to, but sometimes you just have to. Okay, so we're rolling that up again. We want to get one over here. There we go. And let's get one more over here. Great. Wouldn't it be great if we had the baby mini dimensionals? Because <laughs> sometimes you just need them even tinier. I and mean, we can do our, our little trick that we just did. All right, so let's tuck this up and under. There we go. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so then, um, oh, I decided to go ahead and pepper these with some of the black rhinestone jewels. These are from the holiday catalog and being retired too. Again, my paper piercing tool just makes it easy to get up and underneath to place them. There we go. Oh, pretty touch. Mm -mm -mm. Let's bring that down a little bit there we go okay and so they come in three sizes so i'm going to use all three you know grandma taught us you use either everything in odd numbers so it'd be one three five i think three will be enough <laughs> all right and push that oh okay i'm liking so once you're happy let's press those in place isn't that sharp okay so then i wanted to use the note and I just tried so many different things. I tried first black, so it would show up. And it was, and I thought, well, everything else is shiny. So then I tried the glossy white and sponged it. And yeah, I wasn't so pleased with that. So of course I tried the glossy white because it showed up against the bag. And I thought, well, that looks okay. And then, and so you're gonna die cut. I die cut these just like I did the um the horn i believe that's a horn i'm not musical <laughs> um and you know with the precision base plate in my big shot and then i decide to try look at that the red glimmer paper that little splash of color beautiful so we're going to use the mini glue dots again to put this on and on this uh, the note the part at the bottom we can go ahead and get a full one but for the rest we're going to need to use our paper piercing tool and roll these up mm -mm -mm. and so then using the red glimmer paper worked out really well because i'm going to show you um, the little finishing touch that kept it also coordinated with our little splash of color okay and one more now this i could have used the um, multi-purpose adhesive sheets but honestly, I didn't think about it when I die cut it because I was still trying to design. You know, I tried, this was my fourth color. And then that little splash right here. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm. Mm. And so here is the little finishing touch I added to the top. And, uh, and so this is the mini tinsel trim combo pack. I was planning on the silver, keeping it coordinated. And that's what I had it all worked out. But after I added 
the the red glimmer is like oh perfect so just a time to get a little bit of tissue paper and of course your gift inside and there we have how elegant and really super easy to make if you'd like to make my easy and elegant musical season Christmas gift bag, all the supplies are listed under the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. But you'll want to hurry on over to my online store to pick up any of the retiring products I use from the 2017 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. They're available through January 2nd, 2018, unless supplies run out first. So get on over to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.